Ho, ho, ho. Tis the season of cheers and jolly, but more than anything else, JavaScript challenges. We have 24 days of JavaScript miss. If you've ever had an advent calendar, I have one here for my dogs, actually, where every day they get a treat. They're super excited. I've been hiding this from them. Uh, <laughs> last time I got them a treat, they got it early. Um, every day, we're going to do a new JavaScript challenge, new algorithm for you to to take part in. Not only that, we're gonna be giving away a lot of really cool stuff. Make sure you click the link in the description below so you can get to it and then join the challenge by clicking this link here. pro has got a nice video here going over all the details, but I'll give you a quick rundown. A new challenge every day and a new winner every day. We're gonna be giving away over $3,000 worth of Scrimba Pro subscriptions. And on top of that, on Christmas Eve, we're gonna give away a thousand dollars cash money, baby. Nothing better than a thousand dollars cash, or is there? But wait, there's more. All right, <laughs> a grand prize lifetime subscription to Scrimba. And you know who did did all these challenges? Holler at your boy. And honestly, if you've ever wondered why I love working with Scrimba, they just get my energy, man. Look at this photo they made for me. I love it, man. I love every bit of it. Where it's going to be a lot of fun and. In this video, we're going to go and showcase one of the challenges. I'm gonna do it so you can kind of see all the fun we're gonna have here. And I really hope you partake. I always try to keep things lively and fun, um, a little bit of my personality, but more so than that, is I want us to continue to learn, right? Once something gets so boring that you just are like, you're ready to be done with it. You no longer are enjoying it and you're no longer learning. So let's go ahead, have some fun here over the, the um, almost the entire month of December with our 24 days of JavaScriptmas advent calendar here. So let's jump into it. All righty, let's go ahead and jump in to the candies challenge. This is actually the first challenge in the 24 advent challenge for here for JavaScript and Christmas and all that goodness. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna have a certain amount of children, again, a certain amount of pieces of candy. You know children, children are all very, you know, I got dogs, right? You can see my dog right now, they're trying to get the bone. They each got a bone, but had to take it away because of the video. But you have to give them equal bones. And you have to give kids equal pieces of candy or they get upset, they get selfish, they get start crying. So we know we have a certain amount of children and we know we have a certain amount of pieces of candy. And what we wanna find out is not only how many pieces of candy each kid gets, but actually what the total amount of candy is. So in the case where we have three kids and 10 children, we would expect there to be nine pieces of candy eaten entirely. In my case, I used math.floor for this solution, but you can also write a better equation without math.floor. Let's see if you can come up with both solutions. All right, so how might we solve this with math.floor? Well, if you think about it, the amount of candy that we know each child's going to get is simply an equation that's based off of, let's say if we, let's just start with the baseline that we wanna know if we divide it equally, how would we get there? Well, it would be the total amount of candy divide the total amount of children, right? And we split it up and what do we get, right? We get 3.33 repeating. All right, well, we know we're gonna want a whole number to do that, so how do we do that? Well, we have the static floor method the math library gives us, and what do we get now? Well, we get three. So we know that each, there's three candies for each child, but we're not factoring in that there's an additional child or the children, so we multiply by our children when we get our result. So this is the, you know, we'll put this as the solution one. And I'll comment this out. Now we can actually do our solution two here without any said uh, math dot floor. And honestly, I think this might be the better solution because it's more simplistic and we don't need to use any static methods. And here, what we can do is simply the candy minus the candy modulo children. So the modulo function, if you remember, is going to return back an integer. And in our case, 
if there's any leftover, which there is a single leftover one, right? Because the candy is 10, the children is three, so we're gonna have one left, and we start with 10 pieces of candy, and bam, there is our result. We get everything we expect. Pretty cool, right? I'm sure there's other mathematical ways of doing this. Maybe not, maybe this is it. I wouldn't be surprised though. But here are two solutions, one's with Mathlot floor and one that's purely equation-based. Hey guys, just wanna remind you to check out the link below so that you can take part in all the JavaScript miss fun and look forward to Per, who's going to be doing a live stream to announce the winner and talk about a lot of cool stuff on Christmas Eve. See you guys next time.